The IELTS speaking test is the same whether you take the academic or general training. You need to bring your ID in the exam room for examiner to verify it. The test lasts between 11 to 14 minutes. The whole test is recorded and the timing is strictly monitored by the examiner, who will interrupt you during an answer if you go above the time allocated. There are three parts to the speaking test. Part one is an introduction and interview, which lasts about four to five minutes. This section is all about you. The examiner will ask questions about your background, home, family, studies, and hobbies. This should be the easiest section since you can easily prepare for it. Part two is called the individual long run. It is usually about three to four minutes where you have one minute to prepare for that question. It is like a short presentation where you are given a question and points to be covered. A pencil and a piece of paper is provided to make notes before the speaking itself. Part three is a two-way discussion, generally lasts four to five minutes. The examiner will ask a series of questions related to the topic you had in part two. These questions will give you the opportunity to discuss some ideas and issue with the examiner. Preparation and practice are essential to a good score in the speaking component. Different skills are being assessed in each part, so you need to know what to do. The kind of questions that the examiner will ask can be predicted, and the candidates can prepare ideas for them. Do not learn scripts and answers by heart. You can request the examiner to reiterate, to reiterate a question if you did not understand what was said. It is better to ask than to start speaking and not knowing what you are talking about or if it's relevant to the question. However, don't abuse of that possibility. Here are five points I think you should take from this video. Part one is all about you, so be confident and clear about it. There's no right or wrong answer. I like personally to use a timeline response, that is, I start from where I was born, the country I'm originated from, to what, where I am now, what I'm doing currently, and I finish with my hobbies and pastimes. Second point would be, be ready to deal with a wide range of questions that you're not even familiar with. You cannot talk about something else or choose not to answer the question. So prepare for different topics covering different aspects of society or everyday life. It would be really awkward if you cannot answer a question because you simply didn't prepare for it. Carefully listen to what's being asked and make sure you stay on topic when giving your answer. Remember to adopt presentation skills, such as freshening up before a speaking exam, ensure that your uh, breath is fresh by chewing on some mint before, Maintain good eye contact with the examiner and adopt a friendly demeanor as well as speak at a reasonable pace. Fourth advice would be possess a good vocabulary. You cannot take back what you just said to the examiner. It would imply either a lack of confidence or a lack of structure in the way you plan your response. However, Fluency takes precedence over vocabulary. So if you feel you have forgotten a word, it's better to display a greater level of fluency by using multiple words to express one idea than to find one single perfect word for that same idea. Practice with people who are fluent in English. Ask if they can understand and request for help if there's any issues with the way you are actually speaking. Practice makes perfect. Good luck.